Chapter 738 Fury trembled in fear before he turned around and asked nervously, Mr. Smith, do you have any other orders for us? Adam pointed at Andrew and the other five men who were lying on the ground before he said coldly, I want the both of you to drag these six dogs out of this place right now. I do not want them to dirty my Orem Grand any further. I, Fury felt very anxious and felt as though he was going to vomit blood. It took him a moment to come to his senses before he blurted out, Mr. Smith, I have already told you that the six of them have nothing to do with the Whale family any longer. You can do whatever you want with them. You can even kill them if you want to. Adam replied coldly, Did you forget what I just said earlier? These six men have works of art engraved on their foreheads. I want you to bring them back to the Whale family mansion with you. I want you to make sure that you wait on them and treat them well for the rest of their lives. You cannot allow them to die, let alone remove the beautiful artwork engraved on their foreheads. Do you understand me? Artwork Fury looked at Andrew and the other five bodyguards with a look of resentment on his face. Every single word carved on these men's foreheads were all like a sharp knife that was stabbing him straight in his head. And yet, Adam was actually asking him to bring these six men home and wait on them for the rest of their lives? This was simply too humiliating. However, Fury did not dare to lose his temper. What else could he do even if he felt extremely humiliated? He had to endure what he had to in a bid to survive. It seemed as though he would have no choice but to take these six men away with him in an attempt to appease Adam for the moment. After bringing them back to South Haven with him, he could simply kill them so that they could vanish completely from the face of this earth. As he was thinking about this, Adam suddenly said, Oh, yes. I forgot to remind you that you should wait on these six men and make sure that they continue living well in this world. I want you to send them to Oris Hill on your private jet from time to time so that I can check on each of them. If any one of the bodyguards dies, I will take the life of one of your sons. If two of the bodyguards die, I will take both of your sons' lives. If three of them die, I will also take your lowly life. Fury could not help but tremble violently in anger. This. Adam was simply insulting and humiliating them directly to their faces. What kind of feud did Adam have against the Whale family? Why was he so adamant about humiliating the Whale family in such an insulting manner? However, Fury did not dare to retaliate against Adam at all. He could only nod his head repeatedly as he cried out, Mr. Smith, I will do as you ask. Adam was very satisfied. After that, he said coldly, All right, then. I want both of you to carry these six men out now. Fury pleaded, Mr. Smith, my leg is already broken. Moreover, my son's leg is not only broken, but he also broke his hand earlier today. We are two disabled people, so how could we possibly carry these six men out of this place here today? Please have mercy on us. Please arrange for some of your subordinates to help us carry these men out at the very least. Adam asked coldly, so, does that mean that you do not want to carry them out? You can just leave them here if you refuse to carry them out. However, I will break both your hands and legs and the seven of you can just lie here together and wait for the Whale family to arrange for someone to come and pick you up then. Edward collapsed to the ground and cried out, Mr. Smith. What did we do to make you so unhappy? Please forgive us and let us off already. Please stop torturing me and my dad. I will even count out to you if it will make you happy. As he spoke, Edward, who had a broken leg, knelt with much difficulty and cowed out in front of Adam with just one hand. He was honestly scared. He was scared to death. How could this possibly be the top and luxurious Orem Grand Hotel? This felt more like purgatory on earth. Edward simply wanted to escape from this place. He wanted to escape and go back to South Haven. He wanted to go back to his own house and lock himself up at home. Everything that had happened to him today was simply too humiliating. Edward felt that he did not even want to go out and meet anyone anymore for the next few years. 
Still, Adam did not feel any compassion for him even though he was kneeling and kowtowing in front of him. He simply replied coldly, Well, I have already told you what I want. The both of you can either carry these six men out of this place with you, or you can choose to end up just like them. Feel free to choose your own destiny. Fury hurriedly replied, Mr. Smith, please do not be angry. We will take these six men out with us. Even if we have to crawl out of this place, we will make sure to drag the six of them out of this place with us.